Tonight, TikTok is on the clock. The social media company's Chinese owners must sell to a new owner or face a total ban here in the U.S. So last night, the Senate passed that bill mandating that sale, and President Biden signed it today. Fox 5's Tom Fitzgerald is live on the Hill this afternoon. And Fitz, I know you spoke with the lawmakers spearheading this move and also an influencer who's really just not too happy about it. Yeah, some folks are not pleased at all. The law says that this China-based company, ByteDance, which actually owns TikTok, has to divest itself and sell the company within 12 months. Now, why? Well, supporters of this move say that the Chinese communist government actually controls ByteDance and, as a result, gives them access to the personal data of 170 million TikTok users here in the U.S. But some social media experts tell Fox 5 that other social media platforms also get into the personal data of their users. So what's different about TikTok? Well, some social media influencers in the DMV are not happy about this as well, and they're concerned they could lose access to the platform. Alexandria Davin, whose account gets into food sites across the region, is called Taste of the Union, promotes restaurants and places to grab a bite to eat. She tells Fox 5 today that if TikTok winds up having to be sold or eventually shut down, perhaps, that restaurants throughout the DMV could lose vital access to some potential customers. I think it actually will be more impactful than just, you know, content creators and influencers not being able to post because TikTok does bring together this great sense of community and it is a, also a great learning platform. But also we need common sense regulations that will actually protect national security. This kind of law seems more like um, a PR stunt than effective policy. Now, for his part, the CEO of TikTok today went onto the platform and delivered a message to the users saying that they are not going to go away without a fight and threatened legal action. Meanwhile, the main proponent of this, Virginia Senator Mark Warner, tells Fox 5 today he understands why TikTok users and influencers are concerned about this move. However, he says national security and personal data security is at risk here. And the fact that the Chinese government is in, uh, uh, is trying to say so much that this algorithm is so important, again, makes my case that this is a national security concern. Rest assured, we aren't going anywhere. We are confident and we will keep fighting for your rights in the courts. The facts and the Constitution are on our side, and we expect to prevail again. Some TikTokers wondered why today, if the site was so dangerous, why the Biden campaign actually has its own official site. Senator Warner tells Fox 5 that he did run this by the Justice Department and is confident the new law will stand up in court. Live on the Hill tonight, we'll send it back into you.